This is Paul Carter. You're watching SanClementyTimes.com. Hi, my name is Paul Carter of Sanclemini Surfboards and Art. Come in and check out my custom shaped surfboards and artwork. I shape everything from 70s, 80s, 90s up until the present day. You know, or you can check me out on Seaboards.com or SanclementiSurfboards.com. Hey Paul, what do you got going here, man? What is this? This is out of a recycled nine foot broken board and I made about a 7-0, kind of a 70 style board and I'm just in the first phase of painting on the foam right now. Sick, uh, how, how'd you acquire the board? Where'd this board come from? This is out of a good friend and a customer and uh, he broke the board and we've had it for a couple of years so he stripped it, gave it to me, I reshaped it into a 70's pintail. So I'm doing an acrylic tropical scene on it now. Walk me through the scene. It's, uh, you know, the tropical islands, green with a blazing flame sun, a couple of islands in between, and it's just a beautiful peak. It's going to be all highlighted, you know, it'll have palm trees all the way around it. Tell me what inspires you for a painting like this, of this nature? Uh, everything that inspires me is just going surfing, traveling, you know, seeing some photos here and there, and just, just life. Everything inspires me. Anything with bright colors, just vibrant, vibrant colors. Talk about shapes of boards. Well, this particular shape is a 70s style board. Again, this was out of a recycled, broken board, so I only had so much to work for, work with, and uh, so I wanted to do a 70s style board just because there's so much soul in the in those styles of boards, and you can only ride them one way, and that's smooth. So, uh, but I specialize in everything. I do the twin fins, I do the, the four fins, I do the high performance long boards. I surf and ride everything. So it's a real hands-on uh, and it's all hand-shaped surfboards. Well, it's all acrylic landscapes. It's tropical. Uh, it's all water-based paint, so it's all surf art. I'd say it's all surf art. It's all surf related because it's my life. I love to surf. So anything tropical, I love to paint it. Okay, uh, tell me a little bit about the keyhole I see in the back there. What's this is, was inspired from a house I grew up in that was built in 1927, and we had keyholes just like this. And I'm, when I started painting in 2001, I painted this thing a few years ago and just inspires me uh, as you're looking like a little kid looking through a door you see a dream so you just got to unlock the door and get there well this one search for the key is uh, I believe happiness comes from the inside out so until you unlock your doors and uh, let go of all that negative conditioning then everything opens up Well, it's a small group that actually shapes and paints their own boards, and uh, I take a lot of pride in hand shaping all my boards. Uh, I've only used the machine one time during the summer, and uh, I won't go back. There's nothing like a hand shaped surfboard. The machines have their places, but I personally prefer hand shaped surfboards. It's part of uh, it's part of sculpting. It's part of uh, meditation, if you will, being in the room and just hand shaping and creating a board. It's pretty unique. Shaping to me is you go in the room, close, close the door, put on your headphones, and, and you just get in the rhythm. It's a lot like surfing shaping is because you have to uh, flow through each one and every step is connected to the next one, just like surfing. Every motion has a, you know, a, an end and a beginning, so. I started shaping in 93 under the guidance of Steve Bainey and Dana Point there at Infinity Surfboards and he taught me the shaping by numbers method and uh, it was pretty cool, it was pretty unique. Well his form of shaping is everything, of course you got to measure everything out and everything down to the thickness. I did that for about 15 months and then I went on my own and literally relearned and uh, watched guys like Midget Smith, Terry Martin. Uh, Timmy Patterson, Brian Bulkley, 
There's a lot of guys that I just watched and, uh, and I, everything was just free form. Other than sh uh, measuring the outline and, and the length, everything was free form. No more shaping by numbers, just going for it. This store was started in 97. I took it over in 2000, had it for about four years. And then I got into the whole art realm in, nine, in 2001 and moved to Del Mar Street here in San Clemente for six months and got totally engulfed in the art realm and uh, started doing all the art shows, did that for four years. And then five years later, the same building where I started was open. So I came back here and reopened the store. Uh, it'll be two years in March. Besides custom surfboards, I do custom artwork for your home or business. What I got here is, uh, this is a piece of pine, it's pre-cut. You can get these at Lowe's or most of the hardware stores. And uh, it's all acrylic. Uh, my intention was to make a uh, porthole on a boat. Uh, and uh, I painted the sides gold and kind of copperish. And uh, just the full tropical scene looking through a porthole of a beautiful sunset and beautiful waves. Another trip on the ocean. This is a limited edition print. Uh, I, after I paint all of my uh, paintings, I take a digital photograph and then I get them reproduced on a print. Uh, this is a 10 by 14. They come in different sizes. And then I also have uh, greeting cards. This is one of San Onofre of the wind vane. This is painted from a photograph and everything I do is freehand. I don't trace anything. This is an original uh, pen and ink, archival ink. This is called Hourglass. It's called Time to Enjoy Today. And it's just a depiction of sand going through and forming a full tropical scene. It's all black ink drawings, so they're all one of a kind. These are gonna be used for future prints and future t-shirt designs. Come check me out at the south end of San Clemente, 2208 South El Camino Real, or my website, seaboards.com, or sanclementesurfboards.com. This is Paul Carter, you're watching sanclementetimes.com.